So question eight says for the function f of x equals seven x minus nine and g of x equals one seventh times the quantity x plus nine, find f of g of x and also determine g of f of x and then determine whether they're equal or not. So let's start with finding f of g of x. So we have f of, and then g of x is one seventh the quantity x plus nine. So this is actually going to go into the f function. So that function is a seven times then. And what's going to happen is this the whole thing goes in for x. That's a composite function concept. So I have this one seventh times this x plus nine goes in. And then we um, subtract the nine after that. So if we simplify that, so Seven times one seventh, that looks like they will actually cancel out. Those are reciprocals of each other. So seven times one seventh. Since those are reciprocals, they should just divide out, cancel to be one. So this just becomes one times x plus nine, which is just going to be x plus nine. So this just becomes x plus nine minus nine. So x plus nine minus nine, the nines will just zero out and just give you x. So what is f and g of x? They're going to equal x. The next thing is we have g of f of x. So g of f of x. Notice this time f of x is inside. So I have the g function and f of x which is 7x minus 9, is going to become the input. It's going to replace the x in the g function. So this becomes then 1 7th times then, and then the x gets replaced with the 7x minus 9. And then... We still got to add nine to that. Don't need a parenthesis just yet. So this, this x gets replaced with seven x plus nine. Then we just still got to add a nine to that. So on this one, we probably need to do what's inside the parentheses first. So notice how the nines will divide out. I'm not divide out, zero out. Negative nine plus nine is going to zero. That's going to leave me 1 7th times 7x. And 1 7 times 7 again, those are the reciprocal sets. So it's going to give you x. So what is g of f of x? It's also equal to x. So are they equal? Well, since they both equal x, they are equal. So this would be a yes. OK, so this is going to lead us into the next section which is going to be inverse functions as we move forward, I believe.